character building story visiting grandpa and grandma ring ring the telephone sounded ring ring someone wants to speak to you the shiny red telephone seemed to say hello may i help you mama asked as she picked up the telephone hello said a voice on the telephone mrs virtuson smiled and talked for a few minutes then she called out ac grandma wants to talk to you oh really ac came running to the telephone i love to talk to grandma hello grandma he said and then stood quietly listening soon ac was very happy and excited yes i would like that yes i will bring wax it will be so much fun i love you grandma tell grandpa i love him too bye ac hung up the telephone and began to jump up and down grandpa and grandma want me to come to visit them on the farm ac said excitedly i'm to go tomorrow i know mama hug ac let's go and get your clothes ready early the next morning daddy mama and ac drove to grandpa and grandma virtuson's farm when they got to grandpa and grandma's farm ac put his clothes in the bedroom where he would sleep grandpa grandma mama and daddy talked for a while then daddy and mama left to go home grandpa ac called may i help you feed the animals yes we will go out to the barn as soon as you change clothes said grandpa ac ran to put on his work clothes ac put on his work shoes ac put on his hat now ac was ready to help grandpa grandpa said ac as soon as they were outside the cows are standing at the pasture gate do you want me to open the gate no not now ac let's feed the sheep first ac loved to watch his grandpa grandpa knew so many things first grandpa fed the sheep big buckets of grain there were big woolly father and mother sheep and soft white baby lambs the little lambs jumped and hopped everywhere ac laughed at them second grandpa and ac fed the chickens The chickens lived in a special house called the chicken house. What a cackle cackle they made when AC come in. The father roosters crowd, cook a doodle do. The mother hen said, cluck cluck cluck. What noises. AC loved to pick up the eggs. All right, AC, grandpa said. when they had put the ex away now you may open the red gate and let the cows in the cows are the third group of animals we will feed cows get uh, give us good fresh milk every day okay grandpa answered ac i will open the red gate right now ac ran out of the barn He ran down to open the gate. Then AC saw that there were lots of cows behind the red gate. Wax sat beside AC. Wax began to bark loudly. Woof 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 woof. The cows with their brown eyes looked down at AC and Wax. AC stood and looked up at the big cows. Grandpa had asked him to open the red gate, but up close the cows looked so big. 
AC stood and looked and looked at the big cows. AC knew God would help him open the gate. Just then, AC felt Grandpa's strong hand on his shoulder. Hello there, AC, Grandpa smiled at him. Are you thinking how big the cows look? Yes, sir, AC told Grandpa truthfully. I am wondering what those big cows will do when I open the gate. Grandpa took AC's hand and they began to walk up to the gate together. Were you glad I came to help you open the gate to let the cows in? Grandpa asked AC. Oh yes, Grandpa, AC answered honestly. I knew God would help me. God did help me by sending you. I'm so glad you came. AC opened the hook that held the gate. Grandpa and AC pulled the gate open. The cows all began to walk through the gate. Grandpa had a name for each cow. As they walked by, Grandpa called each one by name. The black and white cow was called Spot. The yellow and brown cow was Ginger. Some of the cows had cute baby cows walking beside them. Grandpa, said AC joyfully, I'm glad you invited me to come to the farm. It is so much fun to be on my grandpa's farm.